Hey there, this is Luke. Hey, let me show you some software I created here. Um, this is Rock Roster. Rock Roster is a software originally created for myself and my band, but when some of my band members that have other bands have showed interest, and I just thought this was something cool that others could use, I kind of went back and reworked this into something that multiple bands can sign up for. And for right now, it is absolutely free. Um, until this grows and I start adding more and more features in here, that'll start incurring me costs. And then there may be a couple dollars. So jump in now if this uh, is something that you would like to try out. Uh, but let's get uh, logged in here. Let me show you what it's all about. So Rock Roster, is something that bands use to create their song list, create set lists from that song list, create songs for their practice, upcoming practices, keep track of gigs, uh, the venues you work with. So, hey, let's check it out. Upon signing in here, I just have a pretend band made up here. So if these songs look weird to you, they're just, they're just sample data. <laughs> uh, but right here, when we come in, we manage our song list. My demo band, Four Horses, and their song list. We can see that we currently have 18 songs in their song list. We have a few songs that have been set to sets already. So we see the set time for our three sets that we have uh, that we're creating here. Uh, but from our, our song list, so we can simply add new songs here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a song. Uh, we're going to create a song called Cheese Fries. And the artist... and when, Bacon Sisters. There we go. If we add a time for that song, song length, we can. this is how we can calculate what our set list song times will be. Tuning. We can add the tuning, different tuning your band uses. Uh, for each song we add, we can choose from a drop down what, what tuning this song would be in. I have some samples in here already. Who starts if you want to specify what specific band member starts. And then any notes, any notes on this song, any notes that uh, would be for an upcoming practice. Uh, as noted here with the notes, uh, we do not pass this information along to your final set list. Uh, but any notes here, you can, you know, whatever, blah, blah. There's some notes. And we can now add cheese fries to the set list. There we go, right up at the top here. So when we add a song into the set list here, we can always click on it and we can edit that information again if we needed to. Um, but we can always take that song and also add it to our first, second, third uh, set list. We can set it back to this none status, um, or we can move it to your practice list. So um, choose where you would like to go with this. And as I add this to the first set here, my set time should now recalculate. And then we have a new time there. So once we kind of get things sorted out here to a set list, what we can do is now jump to uh, one of those set lists to manage the order of that set list or send this email out to those folks in the band. So I currently have no value in here with these, but I can set the order of the songs in the set list here. So you can set that value here. Um, if you don't set a value, it will kind of go in the order that it is currently shown here. So if that's, you're fine with that, you don't have to set the order, uh, but we're good to go. If you want those to be in order, you can pick the order from the actions. Uh, also from here, we can kind of um, choose to uh, remove this back to the, the main song list if you would like. Uh, from here, you know, we can email this PDF out. We can email this out to yourself. Um, we can email it to the band. So we're going to ask you a couple questions here. You know, what's the venue? We'll throw the venue name. We can throw the date on top of there. So I'm going to say that this venue is, as the example says here, Red Rocks. Let's go to Red Rocks. And then you can choose what date and what is the gig. So you can choose that. We'll pick the 22nd there. The time comes in, um, not required to um, have the time on there, but that's, uh, that's up to you if you'd like to start time. Uh, you can always just delete the sound of that right off the end. Uh, so hit OK. And who do you want to send this to? So is this something you just want to send to yourself so you can print it out for the band? Or you can have it emailed to all the band members for pre-approval. Um, you get to choose that here. So I'm going to send this just to me. Hit OK. And off it goes. So in your email, you will have set one. Um, after this, we're going to move you right on the set two here. So uh, we kind of send a set at a time. We don't send all three sets at once. We would like um, you to have uh, the option to choose. Um, for example, we just I just played a gig this past week where we did an opening set. So it was only one set. Uh, no need to waste paper and uh, for that. So 
So create your sets, create your order. That's one thing that the software does. Uh, as I mentioned, we can add our tuning. So the tuning list here, you can add all your different tuning options that you would like um, that your band uses. And this would allow you to select those during your, your song list creation. Uh, next, band members. So you can manage your band members in here. So I have a lot of sample band members in here. Uh, but once you have an account, if you're the initial person in your band that has an account right from here, you will invite your band members. So you invite these band members and we'll send them an email and say, hey, you have been invited to join Rock Roster and we will give you a, um, a band ID, a band ID so that you can, um, your band members can log in and see your song list so you can all share that song list. You will need that band ID to do so that is visible here in your account. When you come to the band members page, you'll see your band ID and we can also email that to your band members for when they log in. Now let's check out practice. So if we remember from my uh, song list here, some of the songs were tagged as practice. If we tag those songs as practice, they'll show up here in the practice tab. And we'll see all the details, who starts, what the tuning is, the time, uh, the artist, and we can even see some notes if notes are made. We can also request band practices here. So we know that it is tough to get the whole band together uh, with all kinds of different things happening on schedules. So this is a practice request creator. So you can request to have practice, not that everybody can do it, but when you request this, where's practice gonna be? What's the start and end time? And any notes on this practice? And when this is submitted, we're going to email the whole band and say, hey, we're requesting for practice or this member is requesting practice. Uh, from that email, if you are unable to make that uh, from that request, it'll guide you back here and you can cancel that practice. So let me uh, show you here. I got a practice on the 30th. We click on that and currently it is confirmed. We're assumed confirmed until somebody dies. And when we deny that, when we cancel that and hit save, we're gonna cancel that and we're gonna go email everybody in the band and say, hey, you know, this, this dude canceled on us again. Uh, we're gonna let you know uh, who cannot make it but they also will have the options to reschedule um, or suggest another practice date from there. So that's the practices uh, and the practice song list for the band. Let's move on to gigs and venues. So gigs and venues. So you can create a list of venues. We recommend doing this first. So your, your venues here, um, this is just, again, sample information here, but uh, you know, the big house in Roanoke, Virginia, Jimmy's the contact, but uh, create your venue list. With your venue list here, we also have your email, uh, maybe hidden behind my little um, picture of my face here, but uh, your email so you can easily remember the places you play, send them an email and say, hey, we got some uh, open dates here. Do you have anything that you can book us for? So um, there's your venue list, your contacts at those venues to make it easier to, to book shows and contact those folks. Um, but we can also add a gig to your schedule. So adding a gig to the schedule, the things we can ask for here is what venue we can pick from your options below. What's the start time? When do we start playing? When do we end playing? What's the, the period we're being paid for? What is the pay? Sound options. So here's some options here, like do you need to bring, provide the back line? Is it provided for you? Are you bringing PA? Just a couple default options here. We can always add more. Let us know if you need some other sound options. And then perks. So a lot of the places that I have played, they, they provide hotel rooms, meals sometimes, sometimes drinks, green room. So any kind of perks to the band. And I can always add to that list. I'm just afraid of what you may ask me to add, but we can. Um, your contact at the venue or the sound contact the day of the show and your load in time. So the band knows when to show up and any specific notes on this gig. So what this is going to do is create you an itinerary of that, that show. All this information here is going to be emailed to the band and say, hey, you've got a new gig, here are the details. And it is added to your upcoming gig schedule. So um, that is on there. You can always stop back, click on that gig and make any changes to that, the times, the, the details um, in the future, or delete that gig um, if it is canceled uh, from the list. So. Uh, so along with that practice and that gig, we can go to the schedule. The schedule is going to show any of those scheduled practice days that you have, and it's going to show any of those uh, gigs on your calendar here. So the calendar view for that um, is what you can see kind of all of what's up and coming. 
um, some future features to come along with this. So right now, just kind of view what's out there, but uh, there will be more to this, uh, a lot more features in the future. So that's kind of the quick of the day-to-day -day operation of this. We've got some help tutorials here and then the help section. I put a little box for feature requests. Also, we'll add a little contact field here uh, if you need to contact me to add any new features. But hey, this is, as of now, 100% free to use. We just want to, well, test out my software creating abilities. And, uh, and this doesn't cost me a lot to run, a little bit of hosting, a little bit of backend automation for the, the emailing and the set list creation. But um, until this scales, until uh, I see some interest, I, I won't uh, you know, put a fee to get into it. And plus those that kind of jump in to help me test it out and that would be able to use this and would like to use this. Uh, hey, you're kind of locked and loaded, grandfathered in. Um, so, hey, app.rockroster.com currently to go and log in at rockroster.com. The website is coming to, to support it, but app.rockroster.com. If you're seeing this video and you'd like to try it out, feel free. Uh, feel free to shoot me a message uh, through the, um, the contact form here uh, that will be here. I'll create this after this video. So uh, cool. Thanks for checking it out.